In 2024, I've met with at least 50 individuals who all aspire to enter into the project management profession because I really wanted to understand what were their pain points and what were the challenges that they were facing just trying to get into this career field. One of the most common themes from all the information that I gathered was that people were just a little bit intimidated or were just unsure about project management tools and whether or not this would actually affect them being successful in this career field. So in this video, I'm actually going to go over some of of the best project management tools for beginners. Now, here's something that most people really won't tell you. There is no single best project management tool when it comes to being a project manager. The best tool for you will really be based on the type of project that you're managing, your tech comfort level, and the features that you need to get things done. And just know in the beginning, you don't have to worry about knowing all of the different features and knowing how to use all of the different capabilities because honestly, it doesn't matter in the beginning. You just need to know enough to be dangerous and to use the tool so that you can manage your projects successfully. And honestly, as a beginner, you're not going to be managing super complex projects, right? So that's why it's just important to focus on those simple features that you need to get things done. All right, so first up is Trello. All right, so Trello is really a visual project tracker that is perfect for beginners. So one thing that I really like about Trello is that it's really like a digital whiteboard, right? Where you can move each of the different task cards to different stages as you progress throughout your project. So for example, if you're just doing a simple management of to do in progress and done, you can set up those stages easily. And then as you complete the different tasks, you can then easily just click and drag it to the next stage. And that's going to help you to visually track the progress of your project. And honestly, Trello is really best just for personal projects. If you're just starting out and you want to get into the flow of how to use this type of tool, Trello is actually perfect for that. Or you can use it for content calendars. Many influencers or content creators use Trello to organize their content. Or if you have a side hustle, you can also use it for something like that. Or if you're just organizing tasks for a small team, Trello is also perfect for that. Beginners really like to use Trello because one, it's super easy to use, it's free to start, and people just enjoy the visual aspects of managing their projects in Trello. Now, Trello does have the capabilities to do advanced automations, but that's not something that you need to worry about as a beginner. And so Trello is really great for small teams. It's great for if you're planning a launch, or it's even great if you're a solopreneur and you're just using it to manage workflows. So one thing that I want you to remember about Trello is that if you are brand new to project management, then I would definitely recommend trying Trello out just to see if it's good for you and the types of projects that you're going to be managing. But also just remember, if you're just looking for something that it'll maybe take you five to 10 minutes to actually figure out how to use it, then Trello might be right for you. All right. So moving on to the next project management tool, which is ClickUp. All right. So if Trello is the starter car, then ClickUp is like the fully loaded sedan. Now, one thing that I like about ClickUp is that it's still beginner friendly, but it does offer more features as you grow and get comfortable with the tool. If you prefer to view your project using a calendar, or if you prefer to look at your project in a list, or if you want to see the full timeline, it gives you those options in terms of how to view your project. Also in ClickUp, you can set up task dependencies and you can also customize your own templates. And one thing that I really like is that the free version includes almost everything. Okay, now it does have the capability of creating dashboards and workload tracking, but that again, this is not something that you need as a beginner learning project management tools. So my advice is to not worry about things like that just yet. Just get comfortable with the tool first. So if you have a little bit more complex tasks that you feel like maybe Trello isn't really ideal for, then I do recommend ClickUp just to see if it has a little bit more features that you need to manage your project. So if you want room to grow without being overwhelmed, or maybe you just want to kind of coordinate tasks between a small team, then you may want to try ClickUp. All right. Now the third project management tool that I'm going to go over, I believe it's actually a little bit underrated and that's Microsoft OneNote. Now OneNote is not flashy, right? But in my opinion, it's very practical. Now OneNote is different from Trello and ClickUp because it's not an all in one tool to really help you manage your project. Consider OneNote as a digital personal binder. So I personally love OneNote and I use it very frequently because I like how you can create different sections, different notebooks, you can create pages, right? And you can really use this to organize all of the information that you may have. So let me just give you an example. So one thing that I'll do is I will create a notebook for various projects. And so within each notebook, I will then create sections for 
you know, meeting minutes, or I'll create a section just for maybe for project plans or maybe for brainstorming, right? Or if I need to just create a section to, you know, track all of the individuals or the stakeholders who are part of the project, because it could be a large complex project, right? However you want to organize your notebook, that's really where OneNote comes handy because you can really personalize it to how you manage your projects. So if you don't like keeping track of a lot of paper, and I highly recommend trying OneNote, and there may be a little bit of a learning curve just really to understand, you know, the different features or maybe how to best organize your projects, but just give it a try and see how you can use it to your best ability. And what I recommend is maybe just starting a notebook and creating different sections to organize your project documents. So in my opinion, OneNote is easy to use and it's really great for organizing a lot of documentation for your projects. All right. So the next tool that I'm going to go over is Notion. Now, the great thing about Notion is that you can essentially build your own system from scratch. So I really like that Notion is flexible. You can make it as beautiful or as plain as you would like. But I will warn for beginners, it can get overwhelming if you're not very familiar with it, but they do offer some free templates to kind of help you get going and not have to worry about building the system that you need. And so for me personally, I use Notion a lot just to manage my business. But I know that a lot of freelancers, creators, they use Notion to organize a lot that they have going on either with content or with their businesses. So the great thing about Notion is that you can combine text, you can have multiple databases set up, um, you can even just have that aesthetic aspect of it and you can make it as pretty or customize it as much as you would like. But then also, like I said, for beginners it's great because there are reusable templates that you can use for your projects. Now, if you get too bogged down in all of the complex systems or the complex you know, layouts that you can build in Notion, then it can get overwhelming very quickly. So my advice for beginners is try to use the templates first. And then if you want to make it more complex, then maybe you can learn how to use it or learn how to build those systems. Or you can actually look on Etsy or look on other websites of people who actually pre-customize the types of templates that you need for your projects. So overall, if you're more detail oriented or you're just a visual person in general, then you may actually want to try out Notion. Now, remember, since this video is for beginners, my advice is that this is not necessarily the best first tool that you should try, but if you've gone through the others and you are looking for something that's a little more complex or a little more advanced, then you may want to check out Notion. All right, now, if you're heading into corporate project management, then I highly recommend this next tool, which is Microsoft Teams. Now, again, Microsoft Teams is not necessarily a project management tool, but it is very commonly used within corporate America and for project managers who work in corporate America. Now, if you're not really familiar with, with Microsoft Teams, it's more than just a chat that you use to communicate with your team or your colleagues, right? Microsoft Teams actually has capabilities to help you track and manage your projects. Now, the great thing about Microsoft Teams is one, you can create channels for your projects. So depending on who's all in your organization, you can set up a specific channel for a project and you can choose the individuals who have access to those channels or who's being notified of updates or anything pertinent to those projects. Also, Microsoft Teams also allows you to create planners, right, which are essentially those task boards that you need to track progress of anything going on related to your projects. And then also the great thing about Microsoft Teams is that it does integrate with SharePoint and Outlook. So that just makes it easier for you to share information across the different platforms. So now I can understand if Microsoft Teams may not be your favorite tool or maybe not be your preference. But if you are going to be a corporate project manager, just know that Microsoft Teams is something that you probably will run across at some point in your career. All right. So let's just recap over everything that I've gone over. All right. So if you're looking for visual simplicity, try Trello. If you're looking for more flexible scaling, then check out ClickUp. If you just need help organizing your thoughts because you have a lot of documentation with your projects, then I highly recommend Microsoft OneNote. If you kind of want to check out designing custom workflows and custom spaces for your projects, then you may want to check out Notion. And if you're going to be stepping into the corporate environments and you want to start getting comfortable with communication and collaborating, creating channels for your projects, then get comfortable with Microsoft Teams. But remember, there's no one best tool when it comes to project management. It's all going to be based on the types of projects that you're managing, the features that you need to manage your project, and honestly, your comfort level when it comes to different technology. And so my advice after you watch this video is start with one or maybe two different tools, right? Based on your comfortability and just see how you like it. And as you get more comfortable with the different tools, you're probably going to start advancing to others depending on how complex your projects are.
And also remember, these tools will help you stay organized, but they're not going to manage your projects for you. Figure out what is your system when it comes to managing these projects using these different tools. That's what's going to also be most important. All right. So if you found this breakdown helpful, make sure that you like this video and also leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one.